five gears before, but it had four tenths. We're putting four thirties in it, a little more mechanical advantage. We already took the gears out. We pressed a new bearing on the pinion. Put the pinion in already. Sorry, you guys missed out on that. Oh, we already got the the ring on the spool, all locked, tied it up, and now we just gotta put it in. And then uh, we're gonna go do some street testing, see see if it helps or if it makes it harder for me to shift it or... I, it should be good. It's nice. Ooh, that's a nice strange piece right there. You're strange. That's nice. But don't call my ruin strange. this thing in. Oh no. Is it gonna come out? Yeah. Oh. Look at that. That's nice. I see it's good. Yeah. Oh. That's a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, torque it. Yeah. Uh, insert torque specs here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, click, click. <laughs> there we go. I feel like it should. Okay. Man. What's the proper, huh? what size do you think it is? Seven, eight, maybe? You're laying down on the drop? Here, I'm gonna take the cover. I'm just very uncomfortable. I can't like, I can't lay on my side properly or. There's not enough room. It's a nice sweater you got there. That's very nice. Listen, uh, these actually help a lot. Do they? Mm -hmm. I wonder if something like this would help an 8 inch. Is it like, like that's the issue that the 8 inch has. I feel like uh, it they would. Make, there's no back cover for I them. No, there's no back cover, but if you like. Drill through the thing and put studs in there. Yeah. Something. You should put a 9 inch in here. Uh, you can put a 9 inch somewhere. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, although a stick shift car is more violent than an automatic car, I really, in my expert opinion, that people take very lightly um, and don't think that I am an expert. I think that this rear end is more than strong enough. It's an 8 inch, 35 spline axle. What? What? 8.8. .8. Er, yeah. It's 8.8 .8 with 35 spline axles. 430 gears now instead of 410s. It's axle tubes have been welded, make them a little bit stronger. It's got this beautiful Team Z brace on it. It's got uh, nine inch ends on it, so there's no dealing with the C-clip eliminators. It just bolts up like regular nine inch axles. It's stronger all around probably than a stock nine inch. I mean, so my black car went numerous 110, 60 foots without breaking gears over a very long period of time. The one issue that my black car did have is that it was starting to fold the rear end, rear end in on itself, which is why we put the bracing on it. So I was racing with this rear end with no brace on it for two years with well over a thousand, maybe even close to 2000 horsepower. And it held up fine until, you know, towards the end when we were probably making closer to 2,000 horsepower. So I do think it's more than enough for my little 409 horsepower streetcar. Wait, we put electric water pump on it. It's probably 413 now. Oh, 413. Probably about 465 when we put the tiny little 50 shot on it. Which, honestly, the nitrous probably adds a lot more. A lot more torque to this rear end than you're gonna drop the caliper. Tony thinks that putting 430s in it is gonna make it easier to get the one-two shift down. I think it might make it harder, but he's smarter than I am with the stick shift stuff. Uh, so I'll take his word for it. I just guess. You just guess right. Well, the mare had a TKO 600, which- Face plated. Yeah, face plated, which is a lot easier to shift than a synchronized trans, so. Yep. But either way, you can bench like 600 pounds, so no. it doesn't matter how easy it is to shift, you're going to make it easy. I'm old now, so. These are all tight. Just get them all snug just to put a little pressure on the caps. Keep them from flexing or having any vibrations in them. We're going to keep them. Ooh. 
Ooh. But add a, just add a little support to prevent. Keeps everything nice and sound in there. We're good. So I'll put the axles in and then put some fluid in here and then drive it. That is a big axle. It's pretty large. Got five eight studs in it. All nice and loose. And put it in the hole. There we go. So this is what holds the axles in. Just this little lip right here goes against the end of the axle. Gets bolted in. The axle tube just holds it in place. So you don't have to deal with C clips in the rear end that would cause the axle to come out if it breaks or, you know. Looks like you've done this a few times. I've done this too many times. A good uh, benefit of having 9 inch ends on your 8.8 .8 is that the 8 inch breaks and everything. Like they have the same backing plate, so everything bolts up. So when I built this rear end, I was very poor <laughs> and I spent all my money on building the rear end and I didn't have money for brakes so I just transferred over my stock 8 inch drum brakes which I shouldn't have had on a car that went that fast but it's fine. This car came with wheel woods all around disc brakes. So, your, right so your 400 horsepower car had four wheel disc brakes but your near north of almost 2000 horsepower car had drum brakes in the rear. Yeah, that doesn't have to make sense. Very nice. Look at that. Very nice. I might have to squeeze these open, maybe. Oh, maybe not. That was nice. Peekaboo. Look at peekaboo. <laughs> so much easier than drums. Is that a titanium bolt right there? Oh, you're a freak. That's a big titanium you're a freak. bolt. We're gonna do the other side. It's exactly the same except on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. It'll go on. What? What the fuck? So why is that one hard, hard a little? Snug. Why is that one a little snug? Because I hit a wall. Okay. They're just they're not as straight as they should be. Oh, you put grease on it. Yeah, it's ready. Like that on our garage carpet because we're getting new. Say, those look like titanium. Because they are titanium, you freak. What do you think is lighter? These titanium ones or the aluminum ones you have on here? Mm. Aluminum mm. ones are pretty light. But those are lighter, I think, because they're smaller. They're, uh, the aluminum ones are, are deeper. They're bigger. No, it's here. Here. This thing doesn't want to. No. Here. Yeah. Right there. Hold on. Your Bluetooth is not. It's probably something you're doing. Nope. Not good with the technology. 
The technology. We're gonna tell a story about how you ripped out 12 of my hairs earlier. It was one big one. Like, you don't need these anymore. <laughs> it's terrible. You almost punched me. I did almost. It hurt really bad. Okay, we're gonna go drive it. <laughs> well, what do you want me to say? We just finished the gears and now we're gonna go we're gonna, drive we're, it. We're gonna grab some gears. We're driving. We just finished the gears, now we're gonna go grab driving. some gears. <laughs> driving. Okay, I guess we're going. She's not wasting any time. What? You trying to murder me? Yeah. What? seems to be doing good. Yeah. It's holding pretty good. Let's go do some burnouts later. Let's go do some chores and uh, do some burnouts later. I think you're ready. I look good.
That was awesome though. You did really good. It was all sideways. It was a little too sideways before I shipped into third, so. Yeah, it was good. I had to, I had to give it a second to get straight. Okay, well, we're gonna take it home and yeah, do some shit. Yeah, I think something got stuck in it. Yeah, okay. But it was good. That was really cool. He was all sideways and shit. <laughs> it was pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello for the first time ever. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Are you eating dirt too, like your brother? You weirdo. Okay, go lay down. So, 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 so I took the car out, and it was fun. <laughs> uh, we just did re realize that we forgot to loosen the shocks up for the street. We had them a little tight for the track, so it was it was a little bouncy. And now I know why. <laughs> we thought we had not necessarily carburetor issues, but we thought maybe we got some debris stuck in the carburetor because it was the needle and seat got stuck, or so we thought, but it ended up being um, the little little transfer tube on the vent tubes that we have. It was hitting the hood and it was choking the carburetor out. So we put a spacer on it. We had a one inch wood spacer on it. We put a one and a half inch four hole spacer on it. So put the carburetor a little closer to the hood, put that right up against the hood. And yeah, it was definitely acting like something wasn't right because something wasn't right. But we took it off and it ran good after that. New gears work good. Tony can say I told you so. He was definitely right on that one. The 430s help, definitely. It, th th it's noticeable that they help, but it's not a drastic change. So yeah, it's just a small change, but it definitely helps and it's going in the right direction. I think we're doing pretty good with this. So yeah, last weekend at the track, I left kind of bummed because I was, I was just disappointed in myself for not doing as well as I think I should have done. I still went 10s, which was my goal, so I should have been happy, but I still feel like I could have done better. So I was a little bummed and I was a little less excited, but this little, this outing kind of, it brought that excitement back. <laughs> I got real squirrely on the road and you'd think most people would be like, oh, I was all over the place. It was terrible, but it was, I like it. It was fun. <laughs> It's nice to like drive something again, not just drive something, but like drive it, like actually get into some hairy shit and drive out of it. That was fun. I'm really excited. Probably go take it out a couple more times this week. Cause I'm, I'm really excited about it. So yeah, I'll probably need a new set of tires soon. It's fine. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.